Right, well, the man who was shot, he was out on bond for a separate attack on his girlfriend. It happened about a month prior. Now, tonight, police say they want to speak with the person who pulled the trigger. We spoke with an eyewitness. She says she saw the whole thing, describing this person as male. But tonight, police have very few clues as to their identity. I was so in shock when I saw it. What this woman who asked we conceal her identity, concerned for her safety, is describing is fighting so bad between a man family members have since identified as Tracy Richardson and his girlfriend. It prompted her to call 911. At one point, they were both on the ground. But before police arrived at this Boone Ridge Drive yard, that fight was finished. From his car. So from his car, he like just got up and um, shot him. Police are still trying to figure out who he or she is. Sharing these photos of the shooter's silver car, attorney and legal analyst Steve Shellis says they may be able to argue self-defense of a third party, Richardson's girlfriend. I think it's a justifiable shooting based upon the information that I've read. According to police, Richardson was severely beating his girlfriend at the time. She was hospitalized after the attack and is having trouble seeing out of one eye. Several drivers stopped to check in on the couple, but this silver car was the only one to circle back. Tragically, and, and took his life, tragically. Sharonda Formby is Richardson's mother. My son was the light of our family. Court documents show Richardson was out on bond for assaulting his girlfriend in a separate incident a month prior to the shooting. He had been ordered to stay away from where she lives and have no, quote, threatening contact with her. Just in case the uh the the shooter the unknown person is watching your your channel right my advice to him would be to go speak to a lawyer have the lawyer reach out to the police department whoever's investigating and go make a statement in the company of a lawyer and i think everyone's everything's going to probably turn out okay for him Court documents also show there was an attempt to file an emergency protective order that would have kept Richardson away from his girlfriend entirely, but it was never signed. Live at Houston Police Headquarters, Shannon Ryan, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.